Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase, our Marathon SpaceX Extreme, or Marathon Tech Prices, not Marathon Production Prices. Um, that would be a little bit crazy even for me. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look at production over, say, 10 minutes. Um, our fix to the train network has fixed our science we're consuming um, at the 6,000 per minute and well red and red and green are getting towards the 12,000 per minute purple 6,000 yellow hmm well it probably doesn't need to get to six for because it's it was close enough, it had a little bit buffered probably. Now, <clears throat> um, we have a little bit of time, uh, so how do we want to work this? Basically, I've realized that, um, well originally I had a belt based design, if anyone remembers that far back, um, where I was feeding from these machines directly to these machines on belts. Um, and then I decided that uh, it might be, it was probably UPS more friendly to use bots. But that's resulted in me having a way oversupply of the cable machines versus um, the science machines. And actually, I mean, this science, this is why it's not uh, six, because this one has. A massive amount of science just sitting in here. In fact, I should probably um, block off these sciences so that we only do something like that. It would make more sense. There's no great need to overproduce. Anyway, um, so I've basically worked these, I think, on the basis of instead of thinking it was half second for two, thinking that in a second you get two um, for my calculation on yellow. I'm sure I've done it right for green circuits, but here I think, and red circuits, I'm pretty sure as well. But here I think I was working it on the basis of, um, yeah, one, you get two in a second, when in actual fact you get four. Uh, and in fact, with our productivity, it's uh, 5.6 in a second. And then, of course, we multiply it by a speed of 8, giving us um, 44.8, I think it was. Let me just redo that. 5.6 times 8, 44.8 a second. Which is why we need 2, but... Um, I think I have 30 uh, of these sciences. Do I even still have my... how many I needed over here? Yeah, there you go. I'm pretending to myself that I actually needed 63 cables, but I didn't. Um, although it's over 30, in fact, it's um, 32 for one. Or well, probably 32 in both. Um... Let's quickly count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, and it's probably exactly the same at the top, giving us 32, and we probably have the same pattern. And the one above, so that there's a slight excess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, that's 15. Uh, so it's actually 31, is it? Yeah, 32. So I've got 32 in each one, so there's a slight margin for error. Um, Alright, well, 32 of these uh, yellow science machines, uh, that's 14 seconds for 30 cable, right? Um, except that it's sped up 8 times. 
the productivity doesn't affect how many um, cables need to be input it, once you've got the, the speed here of 8 so um, basically that is um, 30 cable divided by 14 so you need 2.14 per second times 8 for the speed of the machine that's 17.14 actually according to my calculator because I didn't do that in my head um, so that is why these guys are constantly not doing anything and then doing a bit of stuff so what I want to do is work out okay so um, for 32 machines so let's multiply that by 32 and then divide by 44.8 we actually need 12.24 so I guess that's 13 copper cable machines a slightly awkward number um, let's start by not requesting any more copper cable in the back row So that's one, two, three, four. They'll get rid of four machines. That won't be enough. Because I have, I think I have like 32 of them. All right, so that should help run down the supply um, oh my goodness how much copper cable were we putting in these guys 1.6 good grief um, if we only so we've got 10 across here have we 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is it 11 1 2 3 Okay, and we only really need uh, seven at each end. We probably don't even need that, but we could go down to seven at each end. So, uh, where are those steel chests? That's an easy way to... Um, seven would be two. We reduce the numbers by two. And do that on the other side as well. Now the thing is that it might not actually run down the stock. So I guess the other thing I can do is temporarily remove the um, requests from these chests. So it's forced to use all of the supply. Forced to use all of the supply and then um, yellow science will kind of shut down. So let's let it do that and meanwhile what we're going to do for this episode is run um, over to our new science stack and we're going to try and work out how we're going to get trains up to it and probably sort out the details as well um, the details of the uh, train stations so um, we're not going to need four ways. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and um, yeah, we need special track. We need a special wider width track. All right. Well, 
maybe we can just run this one up manually. Um, trees. I don't really have a place in our plans. Okay, more trees. We haven't had a nuke today, have we? Oh, bots, run away! <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this uh, needs to basically come down here. And then we can connect kind of like that. That's not too terrible. I can live with that. Let's see about the other one. More trees. I don't think I'll nuke those ones though. So let's bring this track up here. Slightly ugly. That won't do. Let us try again. Uh, is that better? And now, oops. Um, I basically want to say no, don't go up there just yet. Okay, that's that side. Um, let's sort out the other side. Let's have a quick look at how yellow is going. Um, I mean, these things are still half full, completely full. It is burning down a little bit. So, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, two of these yellow sciences up there and two from here. And I think there's one in the middle. So that's 11. Um, that will shrink all of this stuff out. Uh, maybe it would be better to actually move these guys here and here. But... Um, about these ones that go up here. Maybe it would be better to knock that off actually and just have it um, like five up here. What's that travel distance versus that travel distance? Well, that one is a worst case scenario versus that one. Now, I think it probably still is better just to leave um, leave them up here. Have only one in the very back line. So that's what we'll do. But obviously, there's a bit of time to go there. So let's head on over to the other side here. Do the same sort of thing. Um... Now, I'm not intending to have sort of, I mean, if this is 1,500 science and some of our sciences are 16 or 1.5 million and some of our sciences are one or 16 million, does that mean we're going to end up with sort of 30 episodes while we do one of those sciences? And no, it's not going to work that way. 
Uh, well, for starters, um, our science will effectively be running at twice the speed it is at the moment, um, which is part of the the good stuff. Whoops. Okay, so I am right, even up here. We are going to need to do something. Um, and that something is actually to come out. Or could we... Actually, I did want to get rid of those. Could we do it from here? Would that actually work perfectly? It does. I guess we'll just have to make sure that trains can actually get uh, in, in up there and up here. There is actually a straight section, so that should be fine. That's that's promising. Trees, trees, trees. So yeah, for one thing they'll be running at twice the speed. But for another, um, it's not necessarily going to be a blow-by-blow blow at that time. Uh, we'll see what else we have to do. Um, if we have interesting things to do, we'll do them while the science is ticking over. If we um, actually end up at a, um, you know, a bit of a dead spot, then um, I might just let the game tick over for a little bit to get it to the next sort of milestone where there is something that needs to be do done so but that's only on the sort of um, the FTL science research that that's an even even a possibility uh, the other science research is really not going to take long at all I personally don't think anyway game might prove me wrong on that, but um, I am holding to that opinion for the moment. There, that's not too terrible. Uh, let's get a chain signal in here. Um, maybe a rail signal. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work. Um, with trains coming up here. Uh, where am I going? There's nowhere to go. We need to snip the end here so that we can set up our stations. So we don't want trains coming in. There. Alright, what names do we have for stations here? Science West 1, Science East 1. Okay, so those need to be fives. Basically add four to all these station names. Um, I probably don't need to be running around to do this, so let's not do that. Let's get back into map mode. Stack six. And seven. And 
seven. And finally, eight. There we go. Now, um, these bits. Uh, these bits should work if I simply install a train counter and then the three publishers. But my train counter and my publishers might run over here, so let's get two train counters. Um, and now three publishers. Um, and they're all active, presumably, because all of those are active. And let's get a publisher for here. Um, and of course, space science is demanding because whatever. I set these things to, it's below that threshold, um, and on this side, let's get a counter. Ooh, I don't like the fact that we have a publisher there already. Um, I'll have to put a new one in, um, and... That will have to go to there, to there. Why is that not active? Trains less than Q. Oh, train PQR. P, Q, I'll have to be R. There. Um. So, um, what do we say as the, uh, can, oh, I can't click on those without running down to, without running down to an active stack. The thing is, I sort of don't want to put that condition in until we're actually ready for the trains to come, which I, I'm not going to buffer science. I mean, like in my last play playthrough, I actually pre-buffered, um, well for FTL Drive I pre-buffered the yellow and the purple science so that um, I didn't actually need to produce so much uh, so I could have a higher, I was only actually doing uh, 5,000 or 10,000 effectively science per minute instead of the 12 we're doing here. But um, that was actually like half buffered and half produced while we're doing it. Here we're going to be producing 100% of it while we're doing it but that doesn't mean that I don't want um, at least to start with our um, stations primed for science rather than have to st start afresh and have science slowly ramp up as the stations catch up. Um, and the amount they're priming is fairly trivial given the amount that we actually need to produce because it's only 8,000 per science, so it's not really um, all that extreme. Uh, let's get four train publishers. One, two, three, four. Now, what have we got down here? That's better. Um, and one, two, three. So that's two of them. Two to go. And we can check on yellow. So, uh, three of these. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four.
four. Um, come over here. Our counter can go down. And one, two, three. And the final module. Start over here for consistency. It's otherwise, probably not specially necessary. One, two, three. So that's primed and ready to go. Uh, let's check in on Yellow Science. Oh, what are we missing over here? Oh, that's a stupid one. Um, there. Missing nothing. That was a water tile. So if you remember when I created the blueprint, I uh, created it in such a way that we included tiles. Well, there was a tiny bit of water down here, so it copied that and put it up there and expected a water tile. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Um, so, yes, how is yellow doing? We can actually look at it from here. Uh, these ones have all run out. That's good. That's run out. That's good. Good. How about back here? Ah, good, good, good. All right, let's definitely hoof it over there now because our yellow science production will otherwise be crashing. Which is not exactly what the plan was. So, um, the plan as such is that we rip this guy out. And that guy out. We basically make a copy. Oh, is that going to fit? find out really soon. Uh, yes, it will. We make a copy of that. Um, we do the same here. The uh, substations. We are going to need to put the substations back. It's not going to work. Um, we got to sink here somehow. That's out of sync. That's all that the problem was. Yeah. But yes, pulling out a bunch of stuff does mean that we now have too much stuff in our inventory. At least I can put that there. Um... Let's go and get rid of some of this stuff. 
Auto trash beacons, auto trash those guys. Is it worth it doing this? Well, it will make a small difference to UPS. Uh, it's probably too late to notice, but um, I have, I am thinking of towards the future in terms of uh, what my designs are, and um, so why are these? Oh, they're oh, they're ones, of course, they're ones. Right. Well, we don't want to throw away the ones anyway. And here we go with a bunch of stuff catching up to us now. Uh, just to help out a little bit. Grab a sip of my drink. We'll have to um, redeploy all of the stuff that we're picking up. Obviously. Getting me, it's getting a bit silly. That's a lot of batteries. Okay, and they're all ending up in the auto trash. That will work once we're back in the zone. Um, to get rid of all this stuff. And I better not enable the copper cable machines until we've cleared ourselves of all this backlog of science and so on as well. Um, I do not want 200. I do not want any at all. So if we come up here... Likewise with those things. Um, how is our science going? That's fine. This one needs purple, of course. This one needs purple, of course. This one needs purple, of course. So we have sort of caught up and slowed down. Yeah. Where's purple? It is running at 6,000, though. It's just... That doesn't always work. So we basically need to wait, I guess, until a uh, train comes in for yellow science. No, we don't have to wait. We can um, dump our yellow science in there. Um, we can dump those in there. We can dump our yellow science in there. Yeah, 9-6. It's a bit large to have in a buffer, really. Um, but that's the general idea. So, um, we're not going to uh, have this completed sort of in a few more minutes of episode. So, I think what I'll do is... Um, well, I'll fix the power up down here, but um, I'll call this episode, I'll finish off this exercise uh, so that we're set uh, for next episode. Hopefully we can actually start SpaceX Extreme Science bumped up even further with marathon cost. Can't wait. Thanks for joining me. Looking forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye for now.